Super Rugby Friday game, folks. There's just the one on this Friday. It's the Crusaders and the Reds. We're going to go through some lineups, stats, predictions, and also where the teams are sitting on the table to, uh, to see what the possible finishing spots are for them and you guys can let me know your thoughts so both these sides are going to be on the playoffs that much we know the crusaders are 10 and 3 they're in second they can't catch the blues even with a bonus point win uh and if they get i would say even one point they should um finish above the brumbies because the brumbies i think are like four points behind but a win will certainly uh see the crusaders comfortably into second spot and it'll be unassailable for them as well. Uh, the Reds, they're in 7th on the back of a little bit of a slump. They're easily 7th. The gap between them and the 8th place team is, I think, more than 10 points. So they'll easily get 7th, and they could potentially climb a bit higher. They're on 35 points. The White is on 37. The Hurricanes are on 38. So they could potentially still uh, jump up a few spots. All that stands between them and that is an away win in Christchurch which not that many teams go ahead and do. So probably seventh, but you never know in a game of rugby. Uh, for the Crusaders, they've brought back a few of their big guns as well. Not all of them. Uh, Richie Moonga and Cody Taylor are still not quite ready. I think uh, the Crusaders camp have said they'll be ready for next week, but this week they would rather just kind of um, let them fully recover. So you got Brody McAllister and George Bauer come back in. So the starting lineup, Oli Jäger gets a start. So it's an all-new front row. Scotty Barrett's back, and he's captain in the second row. Pablo Matera's back. Ethan Black had a shift to seven. Cullen Grace is back at eight. Bryn Hall and Fergus Burke are still nine and ten. And Burke was actually really solid in his last outing. So uh, good for him to get kind of two games in a row. It's not something he gets that much with Richie Moonga, um, you know, the regular starter. Havili's back at 12 which means um, there's no good hue in the lineup this week. Enor's still at 13. Reese is still at 14. Fainganuku, the top try scorer of the competition. They're still there on the left wing. And Will Jordan, who's the top run meter guy, I think he's like second for defenders beaten, he's there at fullback. So he's a guy for them to try and keep quiet. Uh, the bridge features the like The bridge? The bench features the likes of George Bridge, Shade Fihaki, Mitch Drummond, Tom Christie, and, uh, and so on. Um, for the Reds, they're also, a, I don't know if it's a crisis, but they're certainly without some of their most important players. Uh, there's no Tony El Tupo, no James O'Connor, no Hunter Paisami. So, yeah, three kind of key parts of that um, that Reds engine are missing. But they do have um, a fair chunk of their important players there. So, it's certainly not going to be a write-off for this game. The Crusaders are going to have to show up, but honestly, they are. They are big-time favorites, which I'll get to in a second. Um, Sudo Udu's playing lock this week. He moves in uh, from the back row. Dane Zander gets a start at loose head. Angus Scott Young is up from the bench to fill Uru's spot. Um, Harry Wilson's still there at number eight. He's like the top run meter guy for forwards in Super Rugby this year. So he is one guy that they will need to watch. McDermott and Crichton are 9-10. So Crichton's up from the bench to replace um, James O'Connor, who's out injured. McDermott's co-captain for this one. Um, Stewart and Pattaya are the midfield, so Pattaya switches into the midfield this week, and uh, Vunivalu is still there on the wing alongside Dalgunu, who steps up. Jock Campbell, I think, has got like eight tries. He's not far behind Fyanganuku, like Fyanganuku's top with ten. So Jock Campbell with eight, it's not doing too bad, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tough place to go and score tries down at Christchurch, but uh, Brad Thorpe's pretty familiar with it, so you never know. 6-2 uh, split for the Reds by the look of things. Liam Wright is the co-captain. He is on the bench that he's back fit. Angus Blythe, Connor Vest there as well. Kalani Thomas and Matt Greeley. Your back replacements. Stats-wise, Crusaders have got the most efficient maul in the competition. They almost as maul it as much as... They almost maul it as much as the Brumbies, who maul it the most. Not far between them. Um, and actually... The Crusaders' penalties conceded count, which is one area that they've been usually really high. And sometimes are, people are a bit critical of the Crusaders for sometimes being even a bit cynical, like giving away cynical penalties when they're under pressure. They're one of the lower lower teams this week, this year for our penalties conceded. So that's an area of their game that they're, they've really improved on. The Reds, on the other hand, too many, too many penalties conceded. They are right up there, almost the top in the competition. Their line-out is struggling a bit at 80%. They're above the likes of like Moana Pacifica and the Fijian Drua, but uh, in the scheme of things, pretty low. Their ball-carrying numbers are pretty solid, though. So, yeah. 
I mentioned that the Crusaders are favorites. The bookies say 20 points. The algorithm says 15 points. That's the rugby forecast the algorithm. So, yeah, like I said, in all likelihood, Crusaders finish second. Reds finish seventh. But um, does that mean they would just play each other again? That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts on uh, on the Crusaders-Reds game this Friday. Remember, Saturday, you've got the Drua hosting the Chiefs in Fiji. Then you're finishing the evening with like a midnight start over here in New Zealand with the Force taking on uh, the Hurricanes. And then there's a Sunday game as well. So, yeah, there's a bunch of games on. Waratahs and Blues uh, are playing as well. So, yeah, like I said, there's a bunch of games on this weekend. What's the other game I'm forgetting? Holland is Rebels. There's one more. But anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts. How do you think this Friday game is going to go? And um, I'll talk to you guys again. See you later.